Hi there, and welcome to this video regarding fasting. So let's firstly look at the definition of what fasting is. That's not eating. There are some people that believe that if you're not shooting up your blood glucose or spiking your insulin, then you can eat little bits of this and that. And I suppose if you're looking at a, maybe a 72 hour fast and halfway through it, you have a little sliver of butter, you're probably going to get away with that. But technically speaking, fasting is just not eating and you're fed aren't you so if you eat enough you will be fueled through your fast but that's for another day to talk about that particular aspect of fasting you can do what's called intermittent fasting which is maybe you have one meal a day so therefore 23 hours plus you're not eating you can do alternate day fasting where you're eating maybe two or three meals a day even and then the next day you fast or you can do 72 hour fasts which i particularly like i do feel fantastic and contrary to popular belief you're not starving hungry on day two and actually by day three it's a bit surprising because you don't feel hungry at all really or that's been the reported experience for virtually everyone i've coached and also in my own experience and fasting isn't a fad it's been around for thousands of years many religious groups still practice fasting and i've done that for like i say millennia so it's not a new fad and if you've got excess body fat, of course, you have stored food energy on you. So it isn't as if you haven't got energy. So that's one of the things you need to consider if you're worried about fasting and thinking, oh, wow, I can't eat for a whole day. I will collapse. Well, if you look down at your body and your body composition has got some excess stored food energy, which most people call fat, then you have got that energy. Hi there, and welcome to eight reasons fasting could be beneficial. One, improving insulin sensitivity. That can lower your blood sugar. Number two, increasing the production of growth hormone will improve muscle mass and reduce body fat. Number three, blood pressure it can be lowered and so can inflammation. Both of these things will help cardiovascular health. Number four, brain function. Fasting improves brain function by increasing BDNF, protecting against cognitive decline and against degeneration of neurons. Number five, cell repair. The natural processes of the body can be improved in this cellular repair process. Number six, stress. Fasting can increase your resistance to stress. Number seven, gut health can be improved by a production of beneficial gut bacteria and also the improvement of the gut barrier function. And finally, mental clarity can reduce inflammation and that will mean you can grow new brain cells.